A year of good fortune is headed our way with the new lunar year, also known as Chinese New Year, also known as Spring Festival. In Chinese culture, this is the most important time of the year, an amazing holiday full of family and 15 extraordinary days of celebration. Fireworks light up the sky and dancing dragons fill the streets. Money is given in a red envelope to friends and family, including children, just like you, as a token of good luck. Did you know our Chinese friends celebrate New Year not on January 1st, but at different times each year? This is because their calendar is not only based on the sun, but on the moon as well. In China, they believe the new year is when winter ends and spring begins. Therefore, lunar year ends up being between January 21st and February 21st. And guess what? This year is the year of the ox. What does that even mean? How can an ox have a year? This is known as the Chinese zodiac. See, there are 12 animals that represent the Chinese zodiac, and each year is represented by a different animal, as you can see from the zodiac wheel. Feel free to pause this video and check out the animals. But Lunar Year didn't always start off with magical celebrations. Let me tell you about the legend of Nian. Long ago, there was a ferocious, scary beast who was half dragon, half unicorn. His name was Nian and he lived in the sea. In Chinese, Nian means year. He had sharp teeth, big claws, a pointy horn, and a really loud growl. All year round, Nian slept, except for the day on Lunar Year, when the monster would awaken. He'd run off to the village where he'd eat all the grain, livestock, and anything in his way. The people were so scared that they would even leave their homes to hide in the mountains. Until one New Year's Eve, when the people were preparing to flee, a strange old man arrived in the village. He was dressed in rags and came knocking on doors, asking for shelter and food. But the villagers were so worried about themselves that they couldn't help the old man except for a kind granny who gave him food and told him to hide in the forest because a monster was coming to lurk in the night. But the old man didn't get frightened. Instead, he told granny that he would scare the monster away. So the old man stayed as granny fled to the mountains. And just as midnight came, so did Nian, the beast. But instead of a dark, lonely village, he was surprised to see that Granny's house had bright lights. Curious about the glow, Nian went to the source closer and closer. He saw that Granny's house had red paper all over, and the candles were so bright that it sent shivers down his spine. While he was shaking, the strange old man, dressed in a red robe, burst the door open and burned bamboos that made loud cracking noises. He banged the drum and laughed as mighty as he could. Nian got so frightened that he hurried back to the dark sea, never to return again. The villagers learned that Nian was really afraid of the color red, loud noises and bright lights. So from then on, the new year was celebrated with people wearing red, banging the drums and lighting fireworks. And that was how the most feared day became the most celebrated, brightest and happiest time of the year. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. 